Welcome back to the episode 3 Going Pro Overseas But wait, hold up How did I get here? So meet the high school version of me Not bad, right? I mean, I could get some buckets a little bit Sadly enough though, I wasn't good enough for any of the junior national teams. <laughs> yeah, I'm still mad. And in retrospect, it just motivated me more. So without an agent, without a contract, I sent my own emails, I made my own mixtapes. made my way to the United States to chase that dream of becoming an NBA player. And I would say it started off quite well. My shooting ability had many Division I schools very interested. The sky was the limit for promises of going high major D1 from a well-known Juco coach, I decided to transfer, which ultimately resulted in me considering if I should quit playing basketball. Just 12 months later, the last thing the coach told me was, I got an NAIA D2 offer for you on the table. But that's okay though. That's probably one of the instances where I learned not to take no for an answer. With my dream of becoming a Division I athlete crushed, I had to make the decision to go to a great Division II program at Angelo State. And although it was a fresh start, demons from the past followed me as my confidence was at an all-time low. played about 10 minutes a game my junior season and for a minute it seemed like I'm not going to be able to continue my basketball career after college and so I did what I've always done work my butt off and between my junior and senior seasons I became a better version of me becoming a starter on a nationally ranked team like in any good story worth telling. Nine games into the season, I break my foot. On top of my hopes and expectations being shattered, I know people wrote me off, but in my mind, it was never in question. I'm gonna keep playing. And the doctor told me I may need another surgery for the foot. Not a chance. I decided to go home, rest for two months, and try to come back and play basketball professionally. I had to have faith in my body coming through for me. I had to be fortunate this one time for my foot to heal fully by itself. took a chance and then came the call
obviously I'm not in the big leagues yet or nothing like that, but I still felt like my story and my experience was worth telling, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, it made me think about the people who helped me a lot along the way. My support system, my family, my girl, my soon-to-be wife, uh, her family, my closest friends, uh, a guy like Rudy Wallace. Without him, maybe I wouldn't have earned a scholarship in the States. I ended up getting three full scholarships. A family friend, Ruta, without her, I wouldn't have gotten a scholarship for sure. She did so much for me, and I'm forever grateful to those people. You know, I was in the gym working, but at the end of the day, I wasn't in it by myself. A lot of people helped me, a lot of people motivated me, and uh, even when sometimes it seems like you're in it by yourself, if you look around, there's a lot of people supporting you. So, and like I said, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next episodes, and um, I will see you soon.